If you love Baltimore sports, you'll love WNST.net. We welcome into the studio Ken Phillips. How you doing, Nestor? You are not the weatherman, correct? <laughs> Absolutely you, 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 not. Other, how many times have you been confused with the weatherman? Uh, a couple thousand. Do, you, do you know the weatherman's son no. is the one that hired Anita Marks? No. Did you know that? No, I had no clue. Bob Phillips. He runs <laughs> our he runs our big competitor. I, That's, they're kicking our ass every day over there at 105.7. I mean, they just just well, ask them. They'll tell you. I've had lots of people say, you're his son, whatever. You know, no, not not the case. Where are you from, man? Give me your, give me your background. Give me uh, the whole story with you. Born in uh, Gardenville and then Hamilton. Went to Hamilton Junior High School. I used to play against Gardenville in Little League over at Joseph <laughs> Lee Fields when I played and, for Eastwood Little League. So uh, Gardenville, they always had a good baseball program over there. And then went to Poly for a little while. Not as long as I should have. All right. Well, there's nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with that. And you were a, a comedian, from what I understand, uh, right? No, just amateur, smart, smart, uh... Smart ass. Yeah, so I didn't know if I could say that. Well, I mean, <laughs> I've been practicing for 17-plus years at that right so, now. I made a career pretty out good of it. at it. Pretty good. Well, hey, I mean, you can make a 17-year career out of it, then we got something, right, Ken? I'll take it. So give me your background. You love the Orioles. You look, you look like you're old enough to remember the Colts. <laughs> oh, yes, absolutely. I remember walking down to uh, Memorial Stadium Cutting School walking down to Memorial Stadium to get tickets for the Oakland Raiders playoff game. You know, dude, I, would, I was getting ready to say to you, if you grew up in Gardenville, the one beauty of growing up in Gardenville is you could either hop on a 22 and be there in five Not minutes, or you could walk, or you could probably get on your bike and just it ride your bike. It was safe back then, too. I didn't feel any threatened in any way. It was yeah, a, you just go right I'd around Montebello and you don't have to yeah. worry about anybody jumping Walked you, right? up down there, got two tickets, asked my dad. He declined. I took my brother. Now, they call that Lauraville to some degree yeah. now, too. That's another part of, uh, yeah. of what's going on over there. But, so, uh, 47 years ago, you said you were, yeah. you were born here. So, just uh, just trying to put the pieces together. Uh, moved up to PA about three years ago, just because I couldn't afford to live in the great state of Maryland anymore. Now, you, well, I, somebody <laughs> yesterday called it Taxilvania. Taxilvania. Ta I call it Pennsylvania. Ta Pennsylvania and well, Maryland's Taxilvania. Well, I don't know. Now, this guy <laughs> yesterday swears he's paying some some premiums up there in Shrewsbury somewhere. Now, you've also done some radio with uh, we do some more radio with Kirk. Uh, yeah, I've been on the show once or twice. Uh, Love me some Kirk McHugh. Yeah, you can Kirk's talk about no, 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 no. You can do all that screaming. Ah! All that stuff he's he does. Crazy I can't do it anymore. I'm supposed to have coffee with him soon, so I don't know, man. He's high strong. He's already caffeinated. I can't say I can't keep up with Kirk, but I love the Kirkster. And I've been I've been knowing Kirk for 25 years. So you, you're, I'd like to meet him. I don't know what he's doing now that he's not at HFS anymore. Well, I'm gonna find out. I gotta look up Kirk. People keep saying, "Man, hire the Kirkster, bring him over." And I said, "Man, I, you know, I love Kirk. I can't afford Kirk, man." Oh, I know. I can understand that. Hey, Kirk can have the company. I'll go home. <laughs> yeah, it's like it's like the old uh, the old, old baseball team. Remember who was it? The basketball team in the NBA. The owner said, "It was Chris Webber." Well, why don't I just give him the team, you know, instead of giving him a contract? I'm just kidding. Sounds good. Kirk, Kirk's going to call me. He'd be texting me in five minutes saying, man, you're talking garbage about me. So that's fine. Kirk, Kirk's I, right. I got my thing open. All right, so you've done some radio. Yes. Uh, why in this competition? Why here? Why now? And uh, how long have you been listening to NST? Oh, God, I remember listening to you back when you were having a lot of your uh, outings at the barn. Nice. I was and in my 20s then. Billick came there the, right after he got hired. Absolutely. I was up there. I've uh, got a Ravens tattoo on my right shoulder. Old school, Die too. Hard. I've seen it. Yeah. Uh, living in Pennsylvania, they follow Pittsburgh. If you love Baltimore sports, you'll love WNST.net.